Ah uh, yes, Halloween. It's fake. What's up everybody? Eduardo Talbert here with Monster Tutorials. If you're new here, we make Halloween stuff like rotten pumpkins, masks, and all kinds of other cool things, plus some uh, shopping vlogs for creepy stuff, plus unboxings for stuff that people send me. But today we're doing a special tutorial. We are making some pumpkin guts that are pretty realistic and super easy to do. Look at that. All right, let's get started. All right, for the first part of this tutorial, we're going to start with some liquid latex. This is what's going to make the actual guts all stringy. If you're allergic to liquid latex, don't do this tutorial. Instead, you can maybe try glue, but try some glue that is uh, stringy like rubbery. But today we're using this liquid latex. I have some food coloring. I got the shot glasses at the dollar store which is awesome because you can use them to mix paint or whatever and you can throw them away or you can reuse them. Sponge brushes. Just need one. For this first step of the guts we're going to make the main guts and they'll be like a orange kind of like whitish type of color so I'm going to mix some liquid latex with a couple drops of yellow Okay, that was three drops. A tiny little bit of red, not even a whole drop. I'm just going to push a little bit of a drop, touch it on this, and just put it in there. If you put the red there, it will become orange, and you don't want it bright orange. And a drop of white acrylic paint. And this is just to make this just a tiny little bit uh, translucent and not totally see-through like liquid latex is. And again, here is just a tiny little, not even a whole drop. There you go. So let's mix this. Remember, the liquid latex will dry clear, so a lot of that white color will disappear and it'll be more yellow concentrated. So adjust the color accordingly. These are the regular guts, they're not rotten yet. Once you have it mixed, just take your brush and start making little lines of liquid latex on a smooth surface. I'm using this uh, bottom side of this tray. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. It can be jagged so it looks more stringy and more like guts than anything else. Let this dry. While that dries, I'm going to start making the seeds and for that I'm going to use this foam. This is just from the craft store. I think it was about a couple dollars. And I'm just going to draw some ovals like that. Right, see that oval? And then I'm going to split the oval down the middle. And each one becomes a seed if you round up the loose corners. So to make it easier, I'm using a ruler. Put a line straight down like that and we are going to make little circles of different sizes. This will make it easier than drawing a bunch of loose ones all over. You can cut a strip out, sit there, turn the TV on and start cutting these guys out. You can also use a punch like this one to punch the seeds out. This is a heart and then you just cut it in half. But this is for paper and this foam doesn't fit through here. So if they sell a thicker one, I'll get that next time and just punch the seeds out. And we can just cut that strip out. Wasting the least amount of material. Especially if you need a ton of seeds, you want to maximize the, the foam. So there's a strip of seeds, so let's start cutting these out one by one. And short of using the punch to punch these out, I want to find a way that requires the least amount of work, and I thought that this would be it. So we can go ahead and just start cutting 
double seeds at each cut. Then once you have it, once you have your seed, cut that in half and then trim the edges. You know, the little circle right here. And we have one pumpkin seed. Two pumpkin seeds. Now we're going to do that with the whole strip. Now that's going to be tedious, so let's go ahead, put some music on, put a movie on, sit back and start cutting. And I'm not going to make you watch me cut all of these. So let's fast forward until we're done with these, like this. Right, so these guys are ready. The step for this, since they just look like foam right now, we gotta put a coating on it. So I'm using liquid latex. I'm just going to put some right here. I'm going to toss them in there. Make sure they are nicely coated. So I'm using this stick to make sure they are nice and coated. Remember that this liquid latex will dry kind of yellowish. So these guys will take a natural yellow tint. I am not adding any food coloring to these. Right, once you got that, I'm just going to take them out. Just put them right there and let it dry. Any extra liquid latex that spills will look like a little membrane or a little piece of a gut. Right, so these are done. So let it dry. I'm going to save the rest of the liquid latex. That is dry. And the seeds are dry too. So let's put this together. I'm going to pour a little bit of liquid latex, just plain liquid latex, just a tiny little bit. And another little bit. Now this one is optional. This is in case you want to have a moldy set of pumpkin guts, then we're going to put a drop of black acrylic paint, just a drop. There's your black liquid latex. The black is like a gray, like a moldy gray. All right, set that aside. Now you have two options here. You can take your seeds Right, and just dip it in the dip the end in the liquid latex just so it has something to glue on and put it on your piece of a pumpkin gut. Okay, and you're going to put them all along the line, as many or as few as you want, and then we're going to peel this off. The other option is to peel it off. Get it a little bit wrinkly and then add the seeds. We're going to try both. Pick a seed. And drop it where you want it. The seeds in pumpkin guts are attached by the pointy end of the seed. So that's the part that I'm sticking to the strip of guts. All right, for the other style, we're just going to pull the guts off. We're going to peel them off. Uh, don't let it snap together because it'll become like a ball of uh, liquid latex. So instead, slowly peel it and make sure that it doesn't snap back. Once you have the guts like this, just let them wrinkle a little bit. And then you can add the seeds. Let's finish peeling this. All right, so there's a string of guts. Get it nice and wrinkled like that. And add the seeds to it.
and this is the perfect point to add mold if you want them moldy and for the mold I just dip the q-tip there and just touch the areas that you want to be moldy don't cover the whole thing just have spots where the mold grew on the seeds and especially on the guts and you don't have to make them moldy I'm just using this with my rotten pumpkins for one of my challenges so I need it to be rotten and moldy and nasty and just dab the mold because that's how it grows. It just grows in spots. Right, I'm gonna do this all over and I'm gonna let it dry. I also made the straight lines of the orange liquid latex and that is to make those long tendrils of guts. You just peel it and twist it. See, <laughs> you have the little stringy stuff that comes out of the pumpkin. Okay, now it's super sticky now, but if you put some uh, silicone spray on it or some sort of silicone lubricant, this will not be sticky and you can have a handful of guts that you can use. I've added mold to all my guts, so let that dry. This is nice and dry. Peeled some of the strings and as you can see you have the range of orange to like moldy orange, so that's for the loose guts and what I do is peel it off sideways like this and you have a nice moldy pumpkin gut. Let's peel this guy right here. have a nice string of moldy guts all right this is looking awesome Just put it down and we have two strings so this one we peeled it first and then added the seeds right that's this okay and this one we added the seeds while it was still spread on the tray right here I like them both these ones turn out a little bit longer. This one's shorter, but a little bit tighter guts, as you can see. So I'm gonna do half and half. I'm going to do two with the seeds on top, and two I'm gonna peel and then add the seeds. Make it nice and 3D, just stand up some of the seeds like that, instead of laying it down. This one I'm going to peel and then we'll add the seeds. Get a nice moldy tint as you can see with the black liquid latex. I like giving it a little bit of a curve. And let's add seeds. This one I think is just a little too straight, so I'm taking these membranes and just closing them, giving it a little bit of a twist. Nice. Right, so on something like this, you can take some of these little tendrils you made and just weave them in there. So you have more guts, these, look at that string of guts, that looks delicious. I'm going to do the same with this whole tray. Check it out. I have peeled all the liquid latex with the seeds, now we have all the guts ready. Now if you touch them they will stick together like forever. It will be impossible to separate. So in order to have some guts like these, see these guys, they kind of, you can touch them, each other. They still come apart. Right, the secret is silicone lubricant. Whether you buy a spray, 
you know, from the hardware store or go to the grocery store and get some KY jelly. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be some silicone lubricant. And you're going to take your guts, you're going to rub them with the silicone, and they don't stick anymore. So now you can use it on your movie or your prop, move the prop around and this thing won't stick to everything. Actually, it won't stick to anything. So I'm gonna do the same with these guys because these are still freshly peeled. If I stick them, they'll never come apart. So I'm going to go spray some silicone on these in the garage and uh, we should be almost done. And that, my fellow prop mob, is how you make nice and realistic pumpkin guts. So if you think this is a cool tutorial right here, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead if you like the channel and you like the video, uh, because we are just getting started. So give it a thumbs up. Let me know below what you think about the pumpkin guts. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.